question from Bear Joe Gaming. If I'm using the 80-20 strategy as a mobile gamer, is it unwise to do the 20% as a non-mobile game? So I would tell you that if you're within the niche of mobile gaming, I've made 200 or so mobile gaming videos myself, you probably need to stay within the niche of mobile gaming. So there's a couple different reasons for that, Bear Joe. So number one, is it Bear Joe? I don't know, you tell me. Bear Joe, Bear Joe, I'm not sure. But the reason why you wanna do that is multifold. So number one, people that play mobile games are gonna skip around between multiple mobile games, as you're aware. As a mobile gamer, you know that. And so you can actually capture the general mobile gaming audience a lot easier than you can capture, let's say, the console gaming audience, right? Console gaming is way too wide of a category to even tap into, really, right? Same thing with PC gaming. PC gaming is way too wide of a category to tap into. Mobile gaming, though, a bit more niche. People that play mobile games, they, t they usually play the latest thing. They will play other games within that genre on mobile and at least try all of them out. And so sticking with mobile games only, if you make a mobile gaming channel, makes sense. I would not expand beyond the mobile game. Now, the only exception would be if there's a mobile game of an IP and then there's a console or PC game as well, there may be some crossover opportunity. So for example, if you're playing Call of Duty Mobile, there may be some opportunity for you as your 20% on your channel to play Call of Duty, whatever the more, whatever the latest version on PC or console is at that time. But you're staying within that franchise when you do that. Don't break outside the franchise. Make sure there's a very direct line if you're gonna break out of mobile gaming into something else, a very direct line with that audience that you currently have, or you're gonna burn that audience, okay? And for everybody that's watching right now, if you haven't already followed on Twitch, follow. These are free coaching streams every freaking weekday, okay? All right, cool. Um, oh yeah, the other reason why you wanna stick with mobile gaming is it has the best sponsorship opportunities. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends will pay you a thousand bucks a video without blinking an eye, okay? Age of insert random noun here. Mobile game will pay you 500 to a thousand bucks a video. No problem for a sponsored video. So mobile gaming is the most lucrative niche within gaming in terms of sponsorships. And if you're trying to go full time, you need lucrative sponsorships to help pay the bills. You ain't gonna make all that money through Twitch bits and subs and crap. You need to get sponsorships to supplement that revenue. Mobile gamers have the best opportunity to get sponsorships.